today, um, I want to show you, I, um, I work at Teal Draw. Uh, work, yep, <laughs> and um, which, is a, which is like a, a, a canvas library, right? Like, like a whiteboard library. So if you want to build something that's, that's like a virtual whiteboard or something that's canvas-like or, or, like, or like anything where you're interacting with things in a 2D space, um, then that's Teal Draw. And part, part of my job at Teal Draw is to like experiment and, and like find out like what, what we can do with canvases um, so that like I don't know, other people can, can, can do it. So one thing I've been working on is autocomplete and this is like three weeks old. So I'm demoing it today. Um, now you, you may be familiar already with like text autocomplete, right? Like in something like GitHub Copilot, right? You, you have your text and then there's some su suggestions, right? There's, there's, there's this suggestion I've got right here. And depending on what I write, it's gonna suggest slightly different things, right? So I, th I think we're all familiar with this, but um, what, if we, <laughs> what if we could do that on a canvas? So I wanna show you this. I have like one rectangle here, and as I move it around, I'm getting some suggestions. Can you see that? Right. As I resize this, the suggestions are going to change, right? No, no, please, please, please. This is, this is nothing. This is not, uh, this is, <laughs> please. All right, and if I press tab, then it's, it'll accept them, and I can press tab again, and I'll get some more. But um, I can influence these suggestions, right? That's the main thing. Like, if, if I move this rectangle, the suggestions are going to change, right? You, you, you following so far? Everyone following? Right, okay, okay, so... Um, this prompt, right, this is, this is the main thing, right? This prompt, can you guess how, how long it is? How many, how many words, how many words do you think is in this prompt? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> There's three words, right? Continue the shapes. I tried continue shapes and it didn't work, all right? <laughs> so, so like the, the, the main thing is that, um, we're using, we're like interpreting what this model is giving us back, right? Which means, and, and it's like, it's very messy, right? It's very messy what it's giving us back. Um, so so that's, that's basically our job is to try and interpret that and pass it in, in a sensible way. I, I've, re I've written a slightly longer prompt that I've now turned on, right? So we can get, we can like influence, influence it to do other things. Like, as you can see there, right? Give us some text, right? I could say that I specifically want help with text and it will put text shapes on the board. But I haven't told it like what the format is for, the, for this text. It's, it's, it's just doing what it feels natural to it and we're interpreting. <laughs> and, and, and we're, okay. Okay, and so, um, but I, I could say that I want help with rectangles and text. This is really like ugly, ignore that, ignore that. Just ignore it, anytime I'm doing that or you can't follow what's going on. What's going on? Just, just, just go with it, all right? Just, just like enjoy it. So, look, look at this. Like, if I put down full name, it's going to start to try and like make this, make this form, right? And, right, and 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 it's kind of like building a UI. And I realize that I can like influence this UI, right? Like, I can put title, and and it's guessing software engineer. And and this is what I noticed. Watch this. Can you see that? As I'm moving this, it's influencing what's underneath it. You, you see this? Yeah, yeah, right? And, and I think that's kind of cool, right? Because like, I think a lot of the time with AI stuff, people are trying to make the response really good. But I think it's more important to make it predictable, right? Because then I can influence it when it goes wrong. Like, you know, like it kind of like, it kind of like cuts off that bit there, but, but that's fine, because I, I, I can just make it bigger, right? And, and I can influence what it, what it produces. And, the, the weird thing is that I have been like using this recently <laughs> to write bios for myself because I, I, I do a lot of talks and, and it, always, it always gets the text overflow. I'm trying to fix it. Um, <laughs> so what I could do here is, is I could say my name, right? And then I could see it might want, yeah, right, it's gonna make a bio for me, but I could change like my job to j juggler or something. And, and I just wait for it to catch up. Right, <laughs> great. And, and I could say, actually, this needs to be a first person bio, and I can, I can influence these things. So, like, I think this is way more fun than like ChatGPT, 
Right? You know, right? Like, like I've made this UI that I want it to fill out, and then it does it for me. Like, I don't have to wait and like stop. Anyway, right? Let's just don't don't rant. Don't rant. Okay. So I want to show. You, I want to make a. <laughs> I want to make a point. I want to make a point. This is not just like linear because that was just going down, right? That was just going like top to bottom, just like text. But this is spatial. Look, if I if I do this, I don't know. It's like a save slot UI or something. If I move this here, then the prompt is it's going to go that way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do, do you see? If if I move this slot here, the suggestion goes below. If I move this one here, it goes right. There's there's some spatial understanding here. It seems really obvious, but like it's having to infer these, right? Do you see? Do you see how it did two rows there? Uh huh. Uh huh. And and one one th other thing I want to show you is that this can like modify your existing shapes. It's not just adding things. Like, this can suggest modifications. And right, I, I, I found out this new technique, right? If you put a little question mark, it kind of knows that you, you, you haven't done it yet. Press tab, oh, it's fixed my slot question mark to slot three. Did you see that? Did you, all right, right, watch this. If I do slot question mark, I don't know what, what slot number this is. Do you see this little blue, this blue outline? This, that's indicating to me that, oh, yeah, and I just budged it. That's indicating to me that it's suggesting a change, and I can accept that, and it and it updates. Okay, so I th I think this is like going to be helpful for wireframing. I don't know, just like quickly, quickly um, coming up with like moving lots of rectangles and shapes around on the screen, which is what I do a lot. I do like I do it so much, and but sometimes sometimes it's like really obsessed with a certain section. So I, I've tried this new thing, and this is new. I didn't show this. At, or maybe I did show it at Tinkerers, I can't remember. Right, okay, look, I, I can do like a target, like a, a landing pad for it, and oh, right, and it's done a terrible thing. But like, let me upgrade to Sonnet. Let's see. <laughs> right, 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 so this is my, this is my idea for like a, a UX. It's, it's kind of like in painting. I can say, I want you to put something up there, and this time I did it wrong, but maybe I could say I want something here as well. Let's see. Right, so I'm kind of t telling it, hey, I want help with this bit here, and, and I, I think this is going to be very useful. Um, but like, also, I could specify, actually, I don't want help with rectangles, I just want help with text. And, and it's going to give me something different. Right, let, let me get rid of that target. You can put text wherever you want. Oh, give it another go. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm. I'm going to take some of those suggestions. Try opus. Try opus. Yeah. We haven't got all day. I oh, should do it afterwards. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I didn't mean to like roast opus. Right. Look at this. I made like that. I made like a little. I'm making a little UI for this. So. Red, green, blue. It's filling it. It's filling in this little this little structure I built for it. Okay. But what I could do is I could add to the structure. I could say I don't know, like hex code for color. Oh, did you see that? That's a bit. But look, I could change one of them. And it, and it updates like in real time. So like I think this is a kind of like malleable UI. Like there's no there's no actual code behind these shapes. Right, it's being kind of like processed by the model. Right, I, I could even use it to like say like fancy fancy name for color or something, and and right, and let's switch to Sonnet. Sonnet is like really like wordy. It just like wants to say lo right say loads, and I and I could change one of these. I could say like um, I'll make this one green. Right. So I think again, I think this is a really good way of maybe of interacting with AIs rather than doing this back and forth with a chat GPT or something like that, right? And oh, by the way, I, f I didn't mention you can uh, you can turn on vision. And if you click this if you click this vision button, you see it has these little eyes up there. And you see the little eyes? That means it's vision. So so now it can see it can like see what I'm drawing. So I'm going to try to draw something. I'm going to try to draw right a green plant stem or a green line. I'm going to try and draw a flower. Beautiful. Let's see. A flower, great. But like if I if I copy these and put some more down, 
then oh, <laughs> flowers, a flower got flowers. There we go. I'll, I'll take it. So what I can also do is like ask it, like I can write, I can write a UI for it again. I can say like critics rating out of 10 and see what it gives me a nine. <laughs> nice, nice. And then, and then get a comment um, from it. That's nice, but if I like, in, I can influence it by changing this rating, right? <laughs> and, and then, and then let's let's see what it says. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I, but if, okay, but but because I just wanna, I wanna feel good today. I'm gonna influence it. Right there we go, <laughs> and that is a suggestion I will I will accept. All right. So the th the thing is with this, right, is that like I think the first like uses we get out of this are going to be like more simple, right? Like going to be with, with text because, because it's very chaotic at the moment, right? And, and um, let, me, let me see this, right? Did, oh, did, you see, did you see this difference, right? Okay, do you see how it's put down in the right place there, right? If I turn off vision, it puts it in the wrong place. Yeah, so I'm gonna turn on vision it put, it put it in the right place. It's got some of the sizing wrong, but it's put it in the right place. And, and this is what I, I want to share with people is that vision, like multimodal vision models, it's not just for like pictures and stuff. It's anything that involves any like semantic understanding. So there's like a flow of a sentence here, right? Do you see that? Like, um, so I'm going to accept that and put that like there. And, and I think this could, be, this could be a fun way of, I don't know, in, interacting with writing. Right? Like, what if we could just like move around different like paragraphs and say, actually, I want you to I want you to fill in something here, right? Like, <laughs> right, that was terrible. Let's try sonnet. <laughs> Upgrade to sonnet is usually like, okay, there we go, right? Or or what if I like change this? Uh, chaos. Right, like. Like with text autocomplete, it's normally just going forwards. We're not usually filling things in the in the middle. I'm not, I'm not sure what this means, really. I'm not sure what this means, but I think there's lots to explore. Like the order of chaos is this. <laughs> I like that. You know, I really like that. Like I have some more demos, but I'm out of time, really. Um, nice. I'll tell you <laughs> that one worked. Let's see. So I used to be a teacher, right? So like I used to do this kind of thing a lot. And <laughs> right, did you, did you see where it put the answer there? Right, so it suggested an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let, let's try that one more, one more time. Um, okay, close, close, close. Hello world. Right, I'm gonna have to say, I want help with text. Yeah, I want help with text. Oh, I need to, I need to let it see. I need to let it see. Answer three. Okay, like these, you see these shapes? I've just drawn these. I've just drawn them. So like I could put three and then maybe I'll change it to like normal. <laughs> right? It's, it's like OCRing my handwriting. Yeah, I'm seeing some confused faces. That's okay, just, I'm confused too. One thing, I, and this I promise is my last, last one, right? One, one thing I've been trying to experiment with is lines, right? Because like so far these have just been like rectangles and text, right? But um, what, if, what if I could get it to extend like a line? like a stroke, right? Like, so this is a super simple example, but like it's trying to infer like what I'm, what I'm, what I'm trying to draw. If I don't give it much information, then it, then it won't know a lot. But I think this is like, there is a lot we could, there is a lot we can do um, with this kind of interaction to kind of like see the branching possibilities of, of what you're making. Um, I'm really struggling to find anyone else in the world who's working on this. If that person is you, please talk to me. <laughs> or if you know anyone, 
please talk to me because I find it really hard to find anyone working on the same thing. Um, thank you very much. That's a little preview.